Hey, hello again everyone, Mr. Reeves back with you today. And today we are looking at dividing integers. This is page 43 in your Math 7 textbook. And I just wanted to quickly take a look at the signs involved in dividing integers. So I've got some other videos I'm going to have you watch that pretty much tell you um, how to do it, but I would like to focus on the why. All right, so you guys know that I like to explain the reason behind the math that we're learning. Okay, so actually, I'm going to go ahead and just pull up a piece of binder paper here. Isn't that cool? It's kind of blue binder paper. All right, so what we have talked about in multiplication, right? So first of all, let me just say this. Multiplication and division are what we call inverse operations. All right? That means they undo each other. All right, pretty soon we're going to be doing some algebra, and we're going to be using inverse operations a lot. Okay, so inverse operations. So just real quick, you guys all know that 3 times 7 is 21, right? <coughs> Excuse me, sorry about that. If 3 times 7 is 21, I could divide both of these sides of the equation by 3, and I could say that 7 is equal to 21 divided by 3. Does that make sense? Or what about if I had negative 4 times 5? Negative 4 times 5 is negative 20. All right. So if I decided I wanted to divide both of these by 5, right? I could say that negative 4 is equal to 20 divided by, sorry, negative 20 divided by 5. Do you see how that works? 3 times 7 is 21, so 21 divided by 3 is 7. Negative 4 times 5 is negative 20, so negative 20 divided by 5 is negative 4. Now, why did I show you that? Because I want to make the connection between the rules for the signs of a multiplication problem and the rules of the signs for a division problem to show you how this all works. Okay, so let's go with what we had in our previous lesson. All right, we know that a positive times a positive is equal to a positive, correct? And we also know that a negative times a negative is equal to a positive. We also know that a negative times a positive is equal to a negative. And finally, we know that a positive times a negative is equal to a negative. And the reasons behind that we talked about in depth in the previous video and videos, okay? All right, so I'm going to now do with these problems what I did up here. All right, I'm going to divide both of these by a positive. All right, I'm going to divide both of these by a negative. All right, I'm going to divide both of these by a positive. And I'm going to divide both of these by a negative. All right, and we showed up here how that works. And as long as you do something to both sides of an equation, that equation stays true. All right, so what happens here, by the way, I did not mark off here when we divided. 3 divided by 3 is 1, right? 5 divided by 5 is 1. So they cancel out a lot of times. We cancel out and don't explain what that means. All right, so here we go. So I know, I guess I'll use green. That positive divided by that positive is a 1. That's a 1. That's a 1. And that's a 1. And what am I left with? This is what I'm left with. Now let me just write all these down and then explain what I have just shown you and be prepared to be amazed. All right, are you prepared to be amazed? This is missing a line here. A little confusing there, huh? So what do we have right here? What does this say? 
This says that a positive divided by a positive is a positive. What a surprise. This says a positive divided by a negative is a negative. This says a negative divided by a positive is a negative. And this says a negative divided by a negative is a positive. All right. And these are the rules for integer division. Again, you're going to watch a lot of videos, or maybe not a lot. You're going to watch videos, and they're just going to tell you this is true, but now you know why it's true. If you know that these are true, we, what did we start off with? We started off with the rules for integer multiplication, right? And we use those rules. We use those rules by dividing to prove the rules for integer division. All right, isn't that cool? All right, so anyways, once you know these, dividing with positive and negative numbers is really, really easy. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day. Bye.